ஹரி கிருஷ்ணா பகவத்கீதா சாப்டர் ஃபோர் அண்ட் பார்ட் டூ டுடே வி ஆர் டிஸ்கஸிங் ஸோ ஃப்ரம் பகவத்கீதா ஃபோர் சாப்டர் வி கேன் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் தேட் ஃபார் அவர் ப்ராப்ளம்ஸ் வி கேன் நாட் பிளேம் லார்ட் கிருஷ்ணா because we have already discussed about karma vikarma and akarma it's up to us we have to choose between karma vikarma and akarma so between birth and death there is a very important decision we have to take we have to choose between right and wrong thing and how we will come to know the right and wrong thing earlier in gurukula system uh, when british came they destroyed all the lakhs and lakhs gurukula their vedic schools and what we learned in gurukula not only the material studies but the spiritual studies also bhagavad gita bhagavatam vedas and when we learned the spiritual studies also along with the material study what happened then uh, we come to know which is right according to scriptures and what is wrong according to scriptures and then we also come to know that we cannot blame god for our own uh, distress or any um, any unfavorable situations because we are the responsible for that situation as we have done some past things you know when uh, ravana ravana was very knowledgeable but he could not control himself and that's why he uh, even after good birth from a brahmana he was considered as a rakshasa or demon when uh, rama killed ravana then rama told lakshmana please go to ravan and he is very knowledgeable learn something from him his realization then when lakshmana went ravana told um, some things and amongst those advice this advice is very important that's why i'm sharing with you and the advice is Ra- ravana said whenever you want to do some good deed good thing then don't wait just do it because if you wait then your mind may change because in this material world mind is very contaminated and if you wait uh, before doing any de- good deed then that good time may pass but when you want to do any bad things and that is not good abominable then stop yourself for some time that bad time will pass and you will not do that again so if you have to ravan ne kaha ki koi bura karne ka man kare aapko to ruk jaye thoda thahar jaye bura samay bura waqt nikal jayega to aapko bura karne ka man nahi karega usko talte rahe aur acha karne ka man kare तो उसको ना टाले तुरंत कर दे तो क्या होगा फिर आपको उसका लाभ मिलेगा क्योंकि अगर आप रुक गए अच्छा समय निकल गया आपका मन चेंज हो गया तो आप वो अच्छा कार्य नहीं कर पाएंगे तो इसीलिए बोला जाता है कि अगर इफ यू वांट टू डू सम गुड डीड्स जस्ट डोंट वरी अबाउट व्हाट इज द मुहूर्त वट इज द टाइमिंग यू जस्ट डू इट बिकॉज यू विल गेट द बेनिफिट क्योंकि बिकॉज हमारे आवर माइंड इज कंटेमिनेटेड ड्यू टू द एनवायरमेंट and that's why some good deeds and some for example you are um, donating for prasadam in temple that's a good deed or you are thinking today that i will make some uh, chapatis for cow i will do some cow seva go seva today that is good deed so don't wait just do it immediately so that is the uh, technique so that we can train our mind because our mind uh, is continuously from lots of birth in negative circumstances in material circumstances that's why mind is not spiritually educated now is the time when we can train our mind 
spiritually educated so that mind can also help us because me and my mind different thing me means soul and mind is different so we soul have to train the mind so that mind become our best friend in uh, shlok number uh, 34 from fourth chapter this is very important shloka you can memorize tadvidhi pranipate na pariprashne na sevaya upadekshanti te gyanam gyanina stattva darshinaha anuvad by shila prabhupad jai shila prabhupad तुम गुरु के पास जाकर सत्य को जानने का प्रयास करो उनसे विनीत होकर जिज्ञासा करो उनकी सेवा करो स्वरूप सिद्ध व्यक्ति तुम्हें ज्ञान प्रदान कर सकते हैं क्योंकि उन्होंने सत्य का दर्शन किया है सो दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वर्स फ्रॉम भगवद गीता सो कृष्णा इज गिविंग डिरेक्ट instructions to us that to know this transcendental knowledge we must go to a spiritual master and the spiritual master who is already practicing bhagavad gita and he can only give us the knowledge the transcendental knowledge and what we have to do we have to ask questions whether there are some spiritual talks if you ask questions you progress very fast in devotional life so whatever doubt is in your mind you must ask questions uh, to uh, devotees so that you can understand the philosophy and by this way one can progress very fast in devotional service so the path of spiritual realization is undoubtedly difficult not very difficult like dhyan yoga or gyan yoga in dhyan yoga or gyan yoga people cannot marry and they have to go to forest and they have cannot eat some they cannot eat lots of things they have to practice very hard so it's very difficult they are also spiritualist uh, dhyan yogi or gyan yogi but in bhakti yogi in bhakti there are, there are not such kind of any tough things you have to do. You can be at your home, you can get married, you can have children and then you can um, study Bhagavad Gita and you can practice. Even you can see, uh, even Krishna's guru, Sandipani Muni, he was a grihastha, right? Sandipani Muni was uh, staying with his wife and uh, trained uh, students in his gurukula. So there are lots of guru you can see uh, at the time of Vedic age they are grihasthas Atri Muni, Anusuya, Durbhasa Muni even who is very famous giving curse he is a grihastha so all are almost grihastha so being grihastha, grihastha means in household life married, children then also one can perform bhakti so that's why Lord advises us to approach a bona fide spiritual master in proper Guru Parampara. Uh, we have already discussed about it like in Padma Purana. There are four Guru Parampara is mentioned from where uh, we should uh, uh, approach the spiritual master uh, from Brahma. It's starting Brahma Gaudiya Vaishnav Sampraday. From Lakshmi Devi it's starting Sri Sampraday, Sri Vaishnav Sampraday. From uh, Lord Shiva it started, it's Rudra Sampraday and from Kumar, sons of Brahma, four Kumaras it started, it's Kumar Sampraday. So what is the best Yajna? There are so many Yajna, Yajna means the sacrifices. So what is the, what is the best Yajna? And we will learn from Bhagavad Gita the best Yajna is Sankirtan Yagna. Sank means together. Kirtan means uh, chant the holy name of Lord. Like when you together, even if two people, four people, ten people, 
if you are together and you are chanting and you are doing kirtan then it will be sankirtan yagna that's why devotees sit together they chant together and they chant hari krishna hari krishna 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 hari 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 rama hari rama 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 hari hari even now see other religions are coming in kali yuga right sanatan dharma is from very beginning because it's it has no birth no end sanatan means the duty of the soul and duty of the soul is loving god develop love towards god that is the duty of the soul because soul is a part and parcel of lord but even in kali yuga there are lots of religion introduced and in all religion you will see they chant name of the lord in beads beads you know there are um, there will be beads isko mala kehte hain aur mala mein aapka kya rahega aap chanting karne ke liye usme बीज रहेगा मणि तो 108 मन का होता है और उसमें आप हर मन के में आप जप करेंगे हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे इन एवरी रिलीजन इवन क्रिश्चियन इन इस्लाम देल इट तस्बी तस्बी वी से इट माला देल तस्बी एंड इन क्रिश्चियनिटी इवन इन सिखिज्म इन एवरी वेयर दे chant in mala beads why because it's very powerful and it's very important to count how many times you are chanting lord's name so that's why we chant hari krishna maha mantra in the beads even lord shiva even the, the uh, goddess of knowledge ma saraswati they also chant hari naam in beads so are we greater than them so why we we cannot chant because this is the food for the soul and if we don't feed the soul we cannot be happy because now we uh, like people maximum people they know that body is everything so they are polishing the body by going to parlors and they are feeding the body but they are not feeding the soul <coughs> by giving by chanting lord's name so that's why any religion you go they chant lord's name so it is very important for you also to chant hari naam so that is the sarvottam yagya the best yagna and nothing can greater than that and it, it is also mentioned by lord krishna himself in bhagavad gita so what is the qualification of a guru guru should be a uh, very controlled like he should not uh, agitated by his um, forces of his uh, senses like he will be very balanced in eating balanced in sleeping and balanced in um, every daily activities but his 24 hours will be dedicated to lord so he control his senses and he is very intelligent he keep uh, uh, studying the scriptures and also he is very humble and always service oriented attitude always serve lord this is very important so we must have a service oriented attitude and then only we can uh, impress krishna see if you are um, you are like if you are attached to something you get impressed by that for example uh, the rich people impressed by the rich people you know? they when they see oh he is also this much much rich and like me so he get impressed otherwise he don't get impressed huh? if someone is very knowledgeable uh, but not but very poor so generally this is the mentality and who is who value beauty he will be impressed or she will be impressed by the beauty and who value like yeah beauty means fitness who value fitness they will be impressed by that so similarly uh, who value spirituality they will be impressed by the bhakti institute like bhakti inside the person and lord krishna what you think lord himself will become impressed when he will see that we have love for him 
love for humanity we are ready to do welfare for others and we are humble in our nature so we have a service oriented attitude so for example uh, one there are two sons from the same family and one son he left house and he forgot his parents then what happened then if the elder brother go and convince him and bring him to the home back then parents will become very very happy similarly when someone go to the other people and tell them the spiritual secret knowledge and then those people also understand and they try to go back to vaikuntha then krishna become very very happy so this is a this is this is considered as a great service in 18th chapter bhagavad gita 69th shloka krishna says nobody is dearer than me than him who bring my all child like my all 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 living entities are krishna's child like so who share this secret knowledge with them and convince them to come back to god at the vaikuntha because vaikuntha is the our original house original home but now because of some reason we came here in this temporary material world and we can go again to the permanent nature by doing devotional service towards the lord by understanding that we are soul and once we understand we are soul then we will understand that we are part and parcel of the super soul then we will ask ourselves then where the super soul lord vishnu residing then we will get answer he is residing in vaikuntha who is your father father of all living entity then that living entity will ask that how i can go to that first you need to understand the relationship sambandha just now i give an example that if the son one son left the house and he forget his parents then elder brother will go and uh, remind him what his parents did and how they love him and then he will be convinced and come back home so similarly uh, now the maximum of maximum people in the society they are not interested to know that they are soul so first we need to um understand that we are soul then we will understand what is the relationship between soul and super soul yeah actually in every birth your parents will be different but in every birth soul and super soul relationship will be same right so similarly uh when we understand what is the relationship of us with god then we become very very enlightened and then we keep asking that how i will achieve him again who is my eternal father and mother and where i can be eternally happy and no distress at all then answer come from the scriptures this is hari krishna hari krishna 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 hari 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 rama hari rama 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 hari hari this is the abhidhya this is the process by chanting lord's name one can achieve the prayojana the ultimate goal goal and that is the love of godhead so that is the process so we have to um, increase our capacity increase our quality by following bhagavad gita and this will not happen in at one night one night it will not happen it is a gradual process so whatever you can follow start following from today so first thing you can follow you can do it's very easy see their cow donation godan is considered very good and greater than godan it is said that kanyadan is great great but greater than kanyadan godan is harinam dan harinam dan means first you chant hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare hare hari ram hari ram 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 hari this is maha mantra and given by no ordinary baba and bapu but given by lord brahma in kali santra upanishad when narad muni asked that how people will be delivered then brahma said this mantra is the only one nata parat rupaya no other way sarva vedeshu drishyate all vedas i have already seen in kali yuga this mantra will work that's why we should try to chant this mantra in beads daily we should make a habit
and if you are in Vrindavan, Mathura, it's very easy to buy a mala, 108 beads, with 108 beads and start chanting Hare Krishna Mahamantra. See, this can, you can follow this. It's very easy. And if you are not having beads, then you can at least chant. And the mantra meditation is not like you will chant only in your mind. This is the way. See, in Kali Yuga, this is the Yajna Kunda. Your ears are the Yajna Kunda. And you will do Swaha from here like this. You need to chant so that your ears can hear. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Swaha. In Yajna you put Swaha, na? Yajna mein aap dalte hai, na? Swaha, to ye Swaha hai. Ye Yajna Kunda hai Kali Yuga mein. Aapke kaan tab jana hai Maha Mantra. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Other mantras are very secret. But Maha Mantra you can chant loud. And this will not help only you, but help whoever is nearby. And even if you are sharing your room with someone, room partner will be disturbed. So you can chant slowly so that your ear can hear only. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Ram Hare Hare. Like that you can chant. But you need to start this to feed your soul. And this is very easy. Even if you are not having beats today, now itself, you can start from now. Kal kare so, aaj kar, aaj kare so ab. So you can start now itself feeding your soul by Harinam. So next is you have to do, you can do study the scriptures study bhagavad gita since kali yuga people cannot study so many scriptures four vedas 108 upanishads and then 18 puranas it's very difficult so take bhagavad gita and study study again and again complete and again study you will see your so many problems are solved you got so many answers from your problem from your mind mind is always creating problem na? And then your mind is becoming so peaceful, blissful and happy. First time only you will realize that when you complete Bhagavad Gita, reading by yourself is very important. Self-study, Bhagavad Gita, listening is very important because by discussions, if, you, if we study, it is, you know, um, we can uh, absorb the things. But when you study by yourself, then also you, you will be absorbed and you will feel so many things because Paramatma is sitting with, inside you and he will be so happy and that happiness you can feel so complete at least 25 times you should read bhagavad gita and then only you will understand and and then too you will even 26 time if you read you will find new new things then you will you will not understand how many times i should read that i can understand the whole thing so i am getting new new uh, bliss new new you know ananda ananda means new new uh, Secret things I am getting from Bhagavad Gita. So, Sastroka Adhyan, very important. Bhagavad Gita. And after Bhagavad Gita, you can read Srimad Bhagavatam. Srimad Bhagavatam is 18,000 shlokas. Srimad Bhagavad Gita is said by Krishna. Srimad Bhagavatam is about Krishna. This is the last, uh, the, the, the last scriptures given by Vyasa Deva. Because after writing... After giving a written form, all the scriptures, Vedas, Upanishads, Puranas, he was not satisfied. Like if you go to give exam and if you don't write as per your capacity, you don't become satisfied. So similarly, Vyasa Deva was not satisfied at all. At that time, his guru came, Narada Muni. And Narada Muni came and Narada Muni asked him, what's happening? And Vyasa Deva said that I gave written form for Kali Yuga people, all the Vedas, all the Upanishads, all the Puranas, but still I am not happy. Why? Why it's like that? The Narada Muni said, because you did not glorify enough Lord Krishna. That's why you are not happy. Now you write Srimad Bhagavatam and then you will be blissful. Then at last, like a writer, when he become matured, he give his best unique piece. So when Vyasadeva in his maturity, and when he is very much matured, he gave us Srimad Bhagavatam. So after Bhagavad Gita, we can go for Bhagavatam. And then these two scriptures in our life, we should keep reading again and again and again and again. And we will discover many new, 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 new bliss inside it. 
And third thing you can do, control of the senses. How can you control the senses? When you start chanting Hare Krishna Mahamantra, automatically your senses will be controlled actually. You will feel so many differences within yourself and you will feel so good. Because you are feeding your soul, now your soul is become powerful. If you don't feed, then soul is bewildered. Oh, I am is this body. I may be this mind. No, I am not this body, not mind. I am soul. And mind and body should be under my control. But now we are under mind's control. That is not good. So, when mind want to do something wrong, soul should control it. Control it. Like that. But now mind is above and mind is asking any you know something that is not good for our body or not good for our soul and intelligence is helping him okay whatever you want i will help you it should not be done that's why we are not happy because we are soul we need to feed the soul soul will be powerful soul will control and because soul is like electricity you know electricity and mind is like operating system software and the body is like hardware so Without electricity, it cannot run. So there is soul. That's why they are doing things. So you should know uh, we are soul. And then when we connect ourselves to God, actually we get so much of spiritual power. And this way, in new generations, now in new generations, there are so much of suicide rate. So it can be de decreased because they will be self-satisfied. And they can be more focused they can be more smarter, more confident and more charming personalities and they will have, you, you have seen some, I will, I will tell you one story like uh, there was one girl, she was not uh, like average looking girl and nobody uh, liked to talk to her and they considered her like you know backward or like that and once she went for shopping and she bought a Head, you know, outside India, outside India, they wear head, and then um, she thought, "Oh, I am looking so smart." Like in India, if some girl is putting some dress and she is thinking, "I am very smart," so next day, um, so when that day uh, she came to home, her mother was also like surprised. Wow, today you are looking so great. And then she thought, "Oh, I bought this new thing, so that's why I am looking so great." I'm wearing this, that's why. Then she told, how is my head? Then the mother, mother said, where it is? It is not in on your head. There is nothing. She became so surprised. Oh, I have no stopper. I am so smart. And even that day when she entered into office, because last hour she went for shopping. And when she entered into office, even the guard opened the door for her. Amen. People talk nicely, like, you know, uh, greeting very nicely, uh, doing greeting to her. So she thought that because I'm looking smart or because of this thing. But when mother at the night, she told nothing is there. Then she remembered, oh, I left in the bill counter. And then she discovered, okay, actually my dresses or my any outside outfits are not uh, the thing that making me smart my confidence is making me smart so that's why you can see some monk and some they are sadhu and they are always happy blissful and confident and they look very smart and very handsome very beautiful why this is the reason from inside you should be very confident you should be a positive attitude towards life and it comes from by reading Bhagavad Gita so what are the four principles every one should follow as per scriptures? First one is no illicit relationship, illicit sex means outside married life there should be no extramarital affairs. Second thing is no meat eating, one should avoid if he is eating non-vegetarian food. In, in our whole world only hardly 7% people are vegetarian. And if you are eating non-vegetarian food, then gradually you can practice not to eat 
and even if you cannot practice that at least practice chanting hari krishna maha mantra and then you will get the spiritual power and automatically you no need to force even yourself automatically it will happen and 100% guaranteed there is so much proof so next is no gambling gambling you know already and fourth one fourth principle is no intoxication no alcohol no cigarette nothing no intoxication so these are the four regulative principles we should practice so there is a teaching जीवन निर्वाह के लिए पर्याप्त साधन आसानी से उपलब्ध है जैसे वायु जल और दिव्य ज्ञान उनका आदर करें सी वेन सम गेट एडमिटेड इन आई सी यू देन ओनली वी नो हाउ मच दे आर पेइंग फॉर ऑक्सीजन बट कृष्णा इज गिविंग अस ऑक्सीजन फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट वाटर इज फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट नाउ एड इज वी आर बाइंग वाटर बट एक्चुअली वाटर इज फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट एंड द knowledge this transcendental knowledge is free of cost and that's why we should uh, like we should take it granted okay it's free of cost so no value not like that it is having lots of value if there is no air you cannot survive even for one day remember that story about hanuman ji when hanuman ji was very naughty boy in his childhood but he was very very powerful and once um, indra actually punished him no then vayu dev because he is a son of vayu demi god vayu so he become very angry and he stopped the air for some time only and people keep dying and then all demi god blessed the small boy hanuman and hanuman became more powerful and then only demi god vayu become happy nahi to vayu dev ko bahut gussa aaya tha ki mere putra ko kaise aise kiya क्या हुआ बच्चे नोटी होते हैं तो इसको इतना बड़ा तकलीफ क्यों दिया मेरे बच्चे को तो वायु ही खिंच लिया तो विदाउट एयर यू कैन नॉट सरवाइव इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो वी शुड वेल्यू द एयर दैट्स वाई नाउ इट इज सम पीपल रियली डूइंग वेरी ग्रेट थिंग्स बाय रिस्पेक्टिंग द ट्रीज एंड नॉट कटिंग द ट्रीज otherwise you can see now it's like lots of pollution and it is affecting us our life earlier people lived so long now average is like after 60 our people are dying and before before that also people are becoming so sick ill so air is very important you should value the air so respect light light is given by, by lord free sun is coming every day timely you may may go to college timely or not you may attending the classes or not but surya dev is always there to give light sun god is there moon god is there chandra and surya they are giving us light free of cost we should value water is free of cost you should value it because without light water without air we cannot survive without light also we cannot because if there is no light from sun then there will be no grains what we will eat that's why it's very important and transcendental knowledge divya gyan divya gyan is very important because we are after all soul and we need to feed the soul so that we can understand our real constitutional position and we can go back to godhead so this is free free of cost but we should always value it we should not take it as granted thank you very much hari krishna